In this session, we are going to learn some numerical based on cell constant conductivity and molar conductivity. Okay, see here. First problem, a conductivity cell filled with decimolar KCL solution. Now KCL solution, okay, for KCL concentration is given decimolar that is 0.1 molar solution. At 25 degrees Celsius, it gives a resistance of 85.5 ohm. Resistance this much. And conductivity this much. Okay. That is for KCL solution, concentration, resistance and conductivity is known. Okay. Next. Now, the same cell is filled with. Same cell is used. It is filled with 0 0.005 molar SCL solution. Now, for SCL solution, the concentration is this one gives a resistance, this one. Now, what is the molar conductivity? Want to find out the molar conductivity. For the determination of molar conductivity, we require conductivity. Okay. Now, here for KCL solution, resistance and conductivity now. For SCL solution, resistance is known but conductivity is not known. Now, you know the formula. Cell constant is equal to conductivity into resistance of that solution. Okay. Now, here for KCL, this formula. Same formula for SCL. Here, same cell is used. That is, cell constant remains same. Therefore, this side same. Therefore, this is equal to this one. Okay. See here. Conductivity of KCL into resistance of KCL. This is equal to conductivity of SCL into resistance of SCL. Because cell use same. Now, substitute the value and find out the conductivity of SCL. Okay. This is given. This is given. See the units here. Ohm. Ohm. Conductivity is in a Simon per centimeter. Therefore, this conductivity is obtained in a Simon per centimeter. Okay. Now, see this. Substituted. This substituted. Now, conductivity of SCL is equal to this divided by this. Now the log of this here, the log of this here, addition of these two here, then subtract the log of this minus log of this. This subtraction gives this one, anti-log of this, this one, that is the calculation of this gives this one. This is the conductivity of SCL. Okay, next. Now, Molar conductivity. Once you know the conductivity, you can determine the molar conductivity. Now see the unit of conductivity, Simon per centimeter. Now use this formula here. Now it is a, in a Simon per centimeter. Now concentration of SCL. Because we want to determine now the molar conductivity of SCL. Its concentration is this one. Okay. This. Now, 1000 conductivity of SCL. It is determined here. Okay. It is here. Concentration of SCL here. Okay. Now, this, this cancelled out. This into this gives. This divided by this. Now, no, not. Log calculation is not required. Directly divide this. Gives this one. Now, the unit of molar conductivity is Simon centimeter square per mole. Okay. Now, this is the one way. But suppose, in a theory exam, question is asked like this. What is the cell constant, conductivity and molar conductivity? That is, if you want to determine the cell constant, and then conductivity of SCL and molar conductivity of SCL. Then here steps are 
First, find out the sale constant here. Okay. That is, conductivity of KCL is known. Resistance of KCL is known. Calculate this one. And find out the sale constant. That is one step. Now, second step is, use that sale constant here. And in the second step, find out the conductivity of SCL. Resistance of SCL is known. That is, the second point is, conductivity of SCL. And then from that conductivity, determine the molar conductivity. That is the third step. If the numerical is asked to determine the cell constant conductivity and molar conductivity, then you have to determine stepwise. But suppose now here, the question is, what is the molar conductivity of SCL? Okay. Then you can use this method. Okay. Directly find out the conductivity and then molar conductivity. Okay. Let us see next numerical. Resistance of conductivity cell filled with 0.1 molar KCL solution is 100 ohm. Okay. KCL solution concentration is 0.1 molar and its resistance is 100 ohm. Okay. Now. If the resistance of the same cell when filled with 0.02 molar KCL solution. Now same cell is used and now it is filled with 0.02 molar KCL solution. Here this KCL solution, this is also KCL solution. Therefore I have written here concentration of this first KCL solution C1 with resistance R1 for this KCL solution. Concentration is C2 with resistance R2. Okay. Now calculate conductivity and molar conductivity of 0.02 molar KCL solution. For this KCL solution, we want to determine conductivity and molar conductivity. If conductivity of 0.1 molar for this KCL solution is given, Conductivity given is 1.29 simon per meter. Okay. Remember this unit. And this conductivity is given for this concentration. Okay. Now this numerical is asked in October 2015 for 3 marks. Okay. Next. Now see here. First. Now our aim is find out the Determine the molar conductivity. For that we require the conductivity. And conductivity for that we require the cell constant. Therefore first determine the cell constant. For this same cell is used. Therefore first determine the cell constant here. And use that cell constant value here. Rabar. Kima pahliya numerical madhe apan kasa kela tasa karu shakta. Ke. Cell constant is equal to conductivity into resistance here. Here also cell constant is equal to conductivity into resistance. Same cell vaparli. Cell constant same ranare. Tamar he side. He side is same as nare. Therefore conductivity into this. This is equal to this. Asa pan karu shakta tu ni. Ta pahila numerical madhe tasa ke ne. Ata thoda kaya karu ye. Ya vene karu ye. Cell constant is equal to. Conductivity into resistance. This resistance, conductivity, yes, simple calculation here. Now see here. Conductivity is given in a Simon per meter. Simon per meter, that is a per ohm per meter. That is a Simon per meter. This is a unit of conductivity. Unit of resistance is ohm. Now this, this cancelled up. This remain per meter. Okay. Next. Now, this cell constant is used here. Because same cell is used. Cell constant here, this 129. Conductivity, we want to determine resistance is given. Okay. Now, here, conductivity is equal to this divided by this. Now, log of this here, log of this here, 
then subtraction of these two gives this anti log of this gives this one that is the conductivity of this solution is this one now unit is simon per meter here conductivity is simon per meter therefore this conductivity also in simon per meter okay per meter or you can find out this this is 129 this is a per meter and this is in a ohm therefore per ohm per meter that is a simon per meter okay next now this is determined next now lambda see here now when you want to determine the lambda first check the unit of conductivity and concentration okay now here either now here two ways are there see here first that conductivity is converted into simon per centimeter see here simon per meter converted into simon per centimeter okay divided by 100 because 100 cm is equal to 1 meter here one for simplification just for understanding purpose see here when meter is converted into centimeter it is to the smaller in it multiplied by 100 but here now per meter is converted into per centimeter here divided by 100 okay gives this value now here It is converted into this form one two three. Therefore, ten is to minus three. Now, this is the conductivity in now Simon per centimeter. Okay, see here. Now it is in a Simon per centimeter molar concentration mole per dm cube. Now we will get lambda in this unit. Okay. Now this thousand. conductivity value here okay concentration here this this cancelled out okay now this divided by this then 10 raised to 2 gives this answer okay so one way now see here the same numerical now it is asked in the theory exam for 3 marks here but the same numerical is asked for competitive exam as a mcq for one mark and the options given here first a 1.24 into 10 raised to minus 4 simon meter square per mole second option is 12.40 into 10 raised to minus 4 simon meter square per mole third option 124.0 into 10 raised to minus 4 simon meter square per mole and the fourth option is 1240 into 10 raised to minus 4 simon meter square per mole okay let me write here point zero same numerical as in 2006 for competitive exam but the option c here the unit of lambda is in this unit now you can solve by same method find out this answer and now convert this into meter square by multiplying into 10 raised to minus 4 therefore answer is this one okay for competitive exam you have to solve like this this is equal to this find out conductivity and then molar conductivity okay this is a one way one more way see here conductivity is obtained in simon per meter keep it as it is and use the formula see here this is lambda is equal to conductivity divided by 1000 c that is conductivity is simon per meter concentration is in mole per dm cube then you will get molar conductivity directly in this unit okay different
शॉर्टकट मेथड सारे तुम्हें प्रैक्टिस करा तुम्हारे लक्षा ये बरबर ओके ना लेटे नेक्स्ट वन हियर होमवर्क टू न्यूमरिकल्स फर्स्ट वन इन दैट रेजिस्टेंस एंड कंडक्टिविटी इज गिवन फाइंड आउट द सेल कॉन्स्टंट ओके नेक्स्ट इट इज आज इन मार्च 2014 थाउजेंड फोर्टीन फॉर टू मार्क्स नेक्स्ट सेम मार्क डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फॉर्म्यूला हाफ मार्क सब्सिट्यूशन हाफ मार्क एंसर विथ यूनिट हाफ प्लस हाफ ओके नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इन दिस यू टू फाइंड आउट द कंडक्टिविटी एंड मोलार कंडक्टिविटी एक्चुअली सेल कॉन्स्टंट की वन सेल कॉन्स्टंट इज नोन रेजिस्टेंस इज नोन फाइंड आउट फर्स्ट कंडक्टिविटी एंड फ्रॉम दैट कंडक्टिविटी फाइंड आउट द मोलार कंडक्टिविटी कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इज नोन हियर दिस न्यूमेरिकल आर्स इन मार्च टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन फॉर थ्री मार्क्स ओके